In this video, I'm going to talk about using programs like ScreenFlow and Camtasia, but the same techniques can be applied to After Effects and Premiere and Vegas and all kinds of video editing programs. Um, but ScreenFlow is my uh, uh, thing of choice. In fact, I'm using it right now to record this. And it's you know, one of the reasons why I like it is it's really kind of basic. It's, it's, it's designed to do screen videos, but also just, just simple editing, and it's easy to use. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you using that. Now, uh, the typical thing that I would do is I would take a presentation like this. This is uh, Sketch 2 from the monthly membership level of Hand Drawn Whiteboard Mega Bundle. And so uh, if, you if you have that membership, you can follow along or you can do this. Uh, but, you know, it, um, in the other video, I talked about making your own uh, very simply. And so uh, you can look at the video on how to customize your own art and also the video on how to uh, customize it with Keynote or PowerPoint. But uh, once you have something like this, I'm going to do, you can simply record it. Now, I've already done that. I've already recorded one, but I would normally just go ahead and, you know, hit the record button and then I would hit play. And I would go ahead and I would cycle through and go ahead and let it uh, do the presentation. Now, I would typically pause about right here, for example, and give myself a place to be able to do some editing. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you that in a little while. And here's another slide. I'm just go ahead and let that one, and we're, we're going to stop there. And so you can see I gave myself a little pause at the end, and we'll go ahead and utilize that. I think I actually did another slide in my little sample. So let's go ahead and, and check that out. Now here's what I've got, and you can see that I, I pre-recorded this. And I'm going to go ahead, first thing I can do here is I can, um, I want to get to where there's a blank spot. And now um, ScreenFlow has a nice little, there's probably shortcuts like this in Camtasia, but if I hit the I button, I'm sorry, the O button, uh, or key on my keyboard that is, and then hit command delete, I can just kind of zap the beginning part because I want to just start where it's coming onto the stage. And so right there I've got a pause and what I can do if I want to go ahead and, and make that last longer than I actually recorded, I can. I, I hit the T button and cut it and then I can go ahead and click on, actually, before I forgot, I, I don't need this audio. I probably want to put different audio on it, so I'm going to zap the audio. Now I just have the video to work with, and so um, I can add a freeze frame, and then I can extend that freeze frame as long as I want. So once I've got the animation going, boom, I can get that coming in, and then I can have it pause while, of course, the video's probably talking and so forth. And or I can um, also do a pause once, if I, if I know that I'm going to have it pause, I can make sure and pause after each one and then add freeze frames in between the points as they come on stage. And so that's um, one of the nice things about that is that you can simply take this and say that I did something like this with um, Keynote and then maybe I have something with Video Maker FX and then uh, I have a nice hand drawn thing with, video, with uh, Easy Sketch Pro. I can composite that all, just import it all in here, and then I can make my own custom um, whiteboard animation. And so that's one of the great things about a program like ScreenFlow. I just like ScreenFlow because it is it doesn't have all the extra doodads and, and awesome features. But you know, if I want to just composite, a program like Camtasia or ScreenFlow is really going to be uh, you know just real streamlined and just kind of focused on on just doing that and not having a bunch of extra stuff. I'm just going to quickly go on here, and I, what I would do is I would, um, I would again, I'd hit the T button and then delete that extra spot. Now I can just have the next uh, part kind of happen where the next videos come in. And again, there's a pause right there, so again, I can hit T, cut it, and then I can add a freeze frame to kind of extend that however I want and so, and so forth. And so that's a, um, you can do these kinds of things inside of Camtasia as well. And this allows you to make your own custom whiteboard video very simply and easily using the art from Hand Drawn Whiteboard Mega Bundle.